greetings everyone and welcome to this series on how to perform different machine learning regression techniques using jazz now machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence that enables computers essentially to learn from data without being explicitly programmed and it uses algorithms in the form of equations to identify patterns and make decisions and improve performance over time and by analyzing large subsets of data or large sets of data machine learning models can essentially learn how to predict outcomes or classify information so prediction classification or even prediction of certain numerical values and uh, we can use these machine learning models and save these probabilities or weights that it has learned from data that has been provided to it to make predictions on new data that is fed now deep learning is a subset of machine learning that uses something called as neural networks to which contain multiple layers to essentially model even more complex patterns and identify identify even more complex patterns in data and they call they call neural networks because they are inspired by the structure of the human brain and the neurons that are uh, in layers in the brain each performing their own specific function and each working together in cohesion to make a prediction and the basis behind machine learning or deep learning or any of artificial intelligence for that matter is it's simply put it's a, a technique to learn probabilities and weights that help model make predictions so probabilities reflect the likelihood of certain outcomes or classifications and they guide the model to make to choose the most probable result and the weights are the importance of each feature or, or each variable and which over time the model learns from the data that you input and uh, during training the model adjusts these weights such that it minimizes the errors and makes the predictions as accurate as possible now in this video we'll be talking about simple linear regression as a form of a machine learning technique to make predictions now if you watch my previous videos on simple linear regression or even multiple linear regression it's essentially a not a very complex technique to understand a linear regression is essentially you can it's a very simple equation and it's y equals mx plus b and if you've taken courses on um you know uh 2D geometry you know in the x and y axis you can represent a line with the help of this equation mx plus b where uh, m indicates a slope and b indicates the intercept or the constant and it's essentially a very simple equation but linear regression is a little more complex than that because uh, this regression essentially aims to reduce in machine learning aims to reduce the distance between the predicted values and the actual values so you may wonder okay so we have x and y numerical data and we produce a scatter plot and so how do you get a line y is equal to ms plus b from that so essentially we use something called uh, more commonly called a least squares uh, method so that the squares of the perpendiculars drawn from each data point towards a certain line of all the data points say 200 points in your data set is minimized so the minimal distance of the data point of the perpendicular points from uh, to the uh, line the regression line is minim the squares of them are minimized so that is essentially the theoretical concept behind uh, simple linear regression so once we have that nailed down it's essentially very easy to build a regression model and understand how to train a machine learning model so to give an idea of this data set we have this data set is called the album sales data set and we have four variables so adwords sales airplay and attract and essentially this 
this data set is for around 200 bands so uh, musical bands and their sales that they have made their at the the money that they have invested in advertisements the amount of airplay that they have accrued in uh, time over hours or some other measure like that and the people's attractiveness rating of the band so how attractive is the band in the minds of people so over <clears throat> uh, various surveys so essentially we want to test or we want to check uh, what variables influence the sales of the band of the albums and uh, to what extent do they influence so we could do a simple regression model in jazz so just go to regression and do a linear regression but we want to train a machine learning model because we want to use these predictions or we want to use this model to make predictions on new unseen data so in jazz if you go to the top right corner of the screen you will see a plus sign and if you just select that it will give you a whole range of checkboxes and the machine learning checkbox is the one you want to select so once you have that we can go to machine learning and you will see three types of machine learning models so regression classification and clustering we'll be dealing with classification and clustering in later videos but right now we want to focus on regression now regression is when the dependent variable is numerical so essentially in the equation y is equal to mx plus c or b the y is numerical right so since we are predicting the album sales we which is a numerical variable we'll be using some type of regression method and in this video we're talking about linear regression so let's jump straight into this and select the linear regression module so before even you know in putting any of these variables into these boxes we want to make sure that our seed is set so what is seed so essentially in machine learning there are a number of random parameters and we want to control for these random parameters to make our analysis reproducible because if you do this analysis today and after if you close this window and you open this again to show your friend that you've trained a model with some certain you know uh, really good performance and your friend says oh just show it to me you see the performance is really good and then you run the analysis again you might not get the same result because of these random parameters so if you set a seed it can be any number any number that your favorite number for example two three seven what have you if you set a seed then you will get the same result each time you perform so the so the randomness is eliminated and we won't be touching other variables scale features is important because it scales all the features to a similar scale so for example in this data set we have adverts airplay and attract as your predictor variables and the unit of advertisements is different than the unit of airplay or attract so we want to scale these features to the same scale so to speak so we'll be keeping this checked in data split preferences we have how many percent how many percent data should we keep as the test data set and it depends on the total number of data points that you have uh, in this case we have 200 data points so we want to maximize our training data right now because 200 is not a huge number so we i think would be better off keeping it as 10 percent so that we have 20 test data points and 180 training data points so that will be better and now let's get straight into training a model so essentially it's the same as the linear regression uh, user interface so the dependent variable goes into the target and the independent variable goes into the features so in when you deal with machine learning or deep learning or all these sorts of predictive modeling 
the variables are called as features. So let's just put one feature for now into the features and we immediately see uh, this table. So n train is the number of training data points, that's 180. And n test is the number of testing test data points, that's 20. And this is the mean squared error for uh, this. And r squared is the coefficient of determination. So if you, you know, have checked out my linear regression video, this essentially gives you the percentage of variance uh, that is explained by your predictor variables in, in your dependent variable. That's 33.6 percent right now. And we can get a predictive performance plot, which is essentially a regression line. So it's, it, I think it's more apparent here. So this regression line essentially aims to reduce, minimize the distance, the perpendicular distance between all these data points to this line. So imagine you draw perpendiculars from these data points to this line perpendicular, 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 and you measure the distance between this data point and this line. And you, and you square each of these distances and sum all of them up. This is minimized by this line. That's essentially the concept behind a regression line. And now we can also get model performance well, where you'll get a number of performance metrics. The one ones that are really important are the RMSE, that's the root mean squared error. MSE is the mean squared error. MSE scaled is the mean squared error scaled according to the, the dependent variable. Uh, this is the mean absolute deviation. This is the mean absolute percentage error. And R squared is our coefficient of determination. So 32% of the variance in sales is explained by the number of advertisements that the band has put out. Right. And we can also get feature importance for this. And right now it's only one feature. So this doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And we can actually keep the permutations to a thousand because that improves the, uh, you know, accuracy of these metrics. And we can also explain the predictions made by the model. So these predictions might be better explained after we add a few more, uh, you know, variables. And when you check the coefficients boxes, you'll get the coefficients as you would normally get beta in a simple linear regression model with the 95% confidence intervals is a p value and you get a regression equation. So y that sales is equal to m x that's the slope into x that's the adverbs plus the intercept that's uh, 193 and that's your regression equation right so now let's divert our attention back to the r squared and add a few more variables to our features to the regression model so we see that it has jumped from 0 0.32 to 0 0.63. That's almost twice the initial amount. So now both these variables combined together explain 63% of the variance in sales or variability in sales. That's quite a lot. 63% is quite a good R squared value. And if we choose to put one more variable, the final variable attract, we'll see that it increases even further, but not to the same extent as when we added the airplay, the number of times the album or the, uh, you know, band songs are played. So it's now 0 0.733. So 73.3% of variance explained by all three, all three variables in sales. That's pretty good. And you can see the feature importance. Airplay, the number of times the band songs are played on the air, is the most important, followed by adverts. Zero, that's uh, second most important and attractiveness rating is the least important among these three. These are based on thousand permutations. And now we can also get additive explanations for predictions. So essentially you can make each of these into um, a regression equation. So 228.728 is equal to 192 point this minus 
negative 2.8 plus 57 minus 18.8 so this is the equation uh, that's used to make these predictions and this is essentially it this is essentially how you train a linear regression model but then you might ask me okay so what's the difference between just doing a simple linear regression so here's where the practical application comes into play so you want to use this model to make predictions if you get new data right if you get new data on advertisements airplane attractiveness ratings of a new band that has come out let's say and you want to predict the sales let's say you're a band manager and you want to predict the sales of the band and you have these three metrics so how you do that you will take this data from 200 other bands you will train a model regression model and then you will input your own data to make predictions so forecasting great so how do you do that how do you save this model uh, in jasp it's pretty easy just browse to any location you want to save your model select check the save trained model and you will essentially have a file with an extension jaw.jasp ml this will be your extension and how to use this trained model just go back to machine learning go to prediction you have an option to browse and upload or uh, you know get get this model from your saved location where you have saved the initial model and once you have that you can essentially adwords airplay attract you can just drag and drop to features and you will get the sales prediction for your new um, features so you can essentially uh, load a com completely new excel sheet with just one row of your adwords airplay attract of your own findings and then you can input these into features and get the prediction so that's it for the first video of this series on machine learning simple linear regression and in the next video we'll be talking about other the next few videos we'll be talking about other methods of performing regression machine learning techniques thanks for watching